Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our biology lesson, Form 1. And today we are going to discuss cell organization. Uh, when you talk of cell organization, uh, this is how uh, the cells are assembled together to form tissues, organs, and organ systems within the body of an organism. So this is how cells are assembled together to form tissues, organs, and organ systems. in living organisms. So the first uh, level of organization are the tissues. We have tissues and a tissue is a group of cells. performing a specific function. A group of cells performing a specific function uh, make a tissue. So we'll have A, animal tissues, And in animal tissues, we have blood, which consists of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, all those are blood cells, or they are cells that make the tissue that we call blood. Another example of animal tissues, tissue, and this one is the one that connects various organs in the body uh, we have epithelial tissue these are animal tissues and this one is found at the inner lining of tubular body structures. The inner lining of tubular body structures, e.g. along the digestive system. Another uh, example of the animal tissue, we can also talk of the muscles or the muscle tissue made up of groups of cells. that bring about movement. 
So basically, uh, those four are examples of animal tissues. We have blood, connective tissue, epithelial tissue, and muscle tissue. So let's uh, go through various examples of plant tissues. Tissues that are found in plants. So plant tissues include, one, epidermal tissue, And this is the tissue found at the outer, the outer surface of stem, root, leaf, etc. So this tissue is mainly for protection. It's mainly for protection. Against mechanical damage. Attack by microorganisms. ETC. So Basically, epidermal tissue is for protection. Then, another plant tissue, we have the palisade tissue. And this is made of palisade cells that we learned earlier. And the palisade tissue has palisade cells with numerous chloroplasts, numerous chloroplasts for photosynthesis. So this tissue is found in the leaves and it's the main area where photosynthesis occurs. There is the vascular tissue This one is mainly for transport, for transport of water, mineral salts, and nutrients. So vascular tissue. We have another one. This one is called uh, parenchyma tissue. This one is for storage. Storage of food and water. So basically those are some of the tissues we have in animals and also in plants and they carry out different functions. In other topics, we'll, for example, discuss blood and other tissues in relation to animals. The same case applies to, uh, to plants. So basically, for now, this is just to make uh, you aware that they do exist and they carry out specific functions. The other level of organization after the tissue is the organ. The organ is the other level of organization. So we have organs and we can say that organs are groups of tissues. That perform related functions. We have very many organs in our bodies and all those organs are made of groups of tissues. For example, we have organs such as the heart. The heart is an organ. The kidney. So those ones are made of various tissues. Then, in plants also, 
We have organs such as the leaves made of the plant tissues. We have things like the stem made of various tissues and so on and so forth. So the last level of organization is called the organ system. And these are groups of organs. that are coordinated and synchronized together. Groups of organs that are coordinated and synchronized together to perform certain functions. To perform certain functions. Examples of an organ system is e.g. the digestive system. So this is a system made of groups of organs. For example, in the digestive system we have the stomach, we have the intestines, yeah? we have the esophagus, and so on and so forth. So that's an organ system. We have uh, the excretory system uh, made of the kidney, the urinary bladder, and so on and so forth. So those ones are a group of organs. They form an organ system. But a group of tissues form an organ, like the heart, the kidney, and so on. A group of cells form tissues, either tissues in plants or tissues in animals, as we have seen. And we have seen that uh, different tissues play different roles. So that marks the end of uh, the topic of the cell. But before we finish, it is important to have a short assignment to remind us what we have learned. So the first question in the assignment, what is a tissue? We have discussed that. Number B, name three tissues in plants and their functions. Any three tissues in plants and their functions. Uh, number two, A, what is an organ system? B, explain why the digestive system is an organ system why the digestive system is an organ system. So we'll stop there. That marks the end of the cell. Uh, we shall meet in other topics to come. Goodbye.